Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, June the 15th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is the collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. We use this energy to help us and coordinate the frequencies to allow us to create using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention to create our best possible life now. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's crank up our relentless optimism, putting on our positively positiveness, and move our energy to our best possible version of ourself. Let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Remember, when you get a Queen energy, it's the fertility of new growth. And this one is the growth in abundance. It is the coins. So beautiful new opportunities coming in and new fertility in that area. It's also the Earth sign energy. So people who are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are also in this Queen's energy. Then we have the Taurus energy, the Hierophant. This is your major arcana card. It's also the energy of getting told yes or being accepted to whatever you've applied for. If you want to have a membership somewhere or if you're, you know, and it requires approval uh, or if you want to be part of a university or a government agency or entity or large corporation, this all says the welcome wagon is being rolled out for you. And there's my cat pulling my phone off the desk. <laughs> That's okay. It didn't fall all the way down. It's just hanging by the cord. <laughs> Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. We have the five of pentacles, which is the energy of allowing yourself to be fully open to what's coming your way. Because it is saying, you know, don't go try to run and get it. Santa Claus has already got it on the list, okay? You don't want to be in a place where you're trying to force your version of what it is when the universe is already creating the best possible version. It is coming into form. You just have to be patient long enough for it to show up. It is change. Five is change. And this means it's in the area of, of happening. You just cannot see it in the physical yet. That doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that vibrational frequency does not match our eyes, ears, and understanding of our physical senses. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So I'm going to reach over and put my phone back where I originally placed it, and a little further back so the cat doesn't drag it off again. I couldn't take my hands off the card, so it was nothing I could do. <laughs> Goofy old cat. That's my black cat, Obi. He showed up about a year ago. Okay, so our underlier here is the Nine of Swords. Remember the Nine of Swords is the energy of just being caught up in your fear of the unknown. But I want you to change that. Let's shift that energy of fear of the unknown into celebration of the unknown. Because when we get to the place where we're at that place of the void, that's where the miracles live, my darlings. So don't fool yourself in being afraid of the dark. It's not dark. It's emptiness. It's where new things can form because there's no limitation or boundary. So understand that and, and be in a place of celebration. When you reach the open energy, that's when the big stuff, the stuff you never before imagined or dreamed can come through. Bigger than you ever expected. So all of this is self ridicule and self-doubt and feeling small, trying to force yourself back into that tiny little box. And you just can't do it. If you're going to break out, you've got to get out of the box and out of your comfort zone. And that's okay because everything you want lives on the other side of that. As soon as you realize that, the more you'll go towards that kind of energy instead of running from it. Non-attachment. This is what we were talking about while letting go of the limitation. I am certain that I will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen. The unknown 
means you can't know all the details. You won't even probably know that that opportunity exists. This is usually where it comes out of the blue. So don't attach yourself to an, a, an expected outcome because that turns it into a probability that you think is you know, your limitation of that. You can only get that much. So just leave it in a place where the universe, I'm expecting big, wonderful, amazing things to happen, right? I have big dreams and the universe knows what they are. That's, that's it. You just leave it at that. I have big dreams and the universe knows what they are. And let that all blow the limitations out and move in that energy of not being attached to a specific outcome. Just something better than you could have ever iman imagined for yourself. We have the energy of support. These are people. This is, listen, nobody gets anywhere in, in a vacuum. This is how it works. We are here together to be together. And this is about your tribe and the people who are around you. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. You'll find that when you're following your dreams, the supportive people will show up because they'll witness it and they will be compelled to join you on the journey. This is, these are the people that are supposed to show up with you. So when the other people start to fall away, do not try to hold on to them. Let them fall away. If they are meant to be there, they'll return, hopefully in a better way. In a better state of mind and energy. You are ready. You're ready. Love it. Yes and yes and yes. Even when we, especially when we're ready, we feel like, oh, what am I, what am I doing? I'm just about to blow, blow everything up and, and, do, and go big and I don't know if I can handle it. What if I mess it up? You can't mess it up. It was your dream. You can mess it up by not doing it. Throat chakra. This is a really important one. The throat chakra can be stifled very easily. It's the, it's the inner child within us that allows us to be like feeling the, if somebody wants to put guilt on you or shame on you or make you feel like you've overstepped somehow and that you should be, uh, you should be more quiet or you should be more still or you need to just sit down. That's only because they're already under the influence of their own fear, right? The frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. So f be fearlessly powerful in your, uh, in your energy of being able to sow the seeds of your creation, of your future, of your assignment. You have an assignment here in this earth school. Allow yourself to follow it. It's okay if nobody else sees it. It's not for them. It's yours. The universe knows what you're doing. It's going to support you and bring you what you need. Star, believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. <laughs> Wash away all fear and discover you are truly a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love, and love illuminates all things. Never forget, you are truly a shining star. We literally are made of stardust. The, thing, the elements of the universe in the cosmic world, or the cosmic chaos, well, that's a better word, um, are what makes up our, the carbon in our bones, right? The carbon in our cells. We are space dust. Peace. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. And so it is. We receive peace and tranquility. Nice to just be in a place of bliss. And here we go. Six of Wands. This is the energy of victory through the long fought battle. So don't fear, fair maidens. And, and allow yourself to move in the energy of being very strong in your ability to move forward. Even if you're still in the middle of the moving. Right? If you're in the middle of that 
that moment where you don't know yet, but you feel you're on the roller coaster. You're ready. <laughs> Ace of Cups. This is the gift from Divine of the Holy Grail. This is all the DNA of life, all that has ever existed or will exist in this cup. And it means you're being given, given the DNA of all things. It means you can use it to create from. It is a gift to you from divine. So it is something that you can now know that you already have every single particle you could need to create your future. How about that? You already have it. You just have to use it. And that is a divine blessing indeed. And of course, this old... Capricorn, Major Arcana, the Devil card. It, and this is the best depiction, by the way, I feel like, of the Devil. It is the thoughts that run rampant in the background that you don't really even have any. It's like children of the flies that have just been left to their own devices and gone feral. Okay? We don't have to do this. Or Lord of the Flies. That was the name of the movie. You don't have to allow yourself the time for this. You don't have to give space to it. You can shut this door. And you can tell yourself, I shut this door to the chaotic negative thoughts that are trying to lure me off my path. The thoughts of fear, the thoughts of failure, the thoughts of not being good enough or worthy enough or smart enough or rich enough. You get what I'm saying. Shut that door. And you will be able to really be moving forward in your strength and your capabilities without fear. So, I send you lots of love and light, my darlings. This is amazing. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.